You will never feel the, the wind in your hair. And you will never hear the sound of walking through the snow. You won't hear the, the birds whistle outside. If you care a lot about these kinds of things, then you really shouldn't apply for a mission to Mars. I'm uh, Bas Lanzarp. I'm a co-founder and uh, CEO of Mars One. And we're organizing a manned mission to Mars in the year 2023. Our requirements are very different uh, from those of the, of the normal astronauts. Off, uh, space shuttle and lands. Because they are going back home. Houston, now controlling. And these people are going to stay there the rest of their lives. So it's a, it's a one-way ticket, yes. I think when people hear about our project, at first they are skeptical because ESA and NASA and the other space agencies are talking about doing this in decades. And now there's a private organization that says they can do it in 10 years. I think if people look at our website, then I think that people are quickly convinced. Mars One has designed a mission that is much simpler than previous designs for Mars missions. Before the humans even leave from Earth, there's uh, water and uh, breathable air waiting for them. In 2022, the first group of four people will leave, landing in 2023. And every two years after that, we'll send an additional crew there. Our astronauts will be selected to cohabitate for the rest of their lives. They'll train for seven years. Everything on how to repair anything that breaks, uh, to take care of medical situations. They will know how to, gr how to grow their own food. Uh, it's very likely impossible for them to ever return to Earth. Because we don't have the technology to go back. Yeah. Already people are uploading their application movies to our website. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do it's really fun to see people explaining why they want to leave everything they have here on Earth and start a new life on Mars. I can be patient and listen to others. People. Why would you leave your family, your friends? Yeah, some people also call it you know, like social suicide. It's not because I dislike being here on Earth, but it's going to another planet and working for a new society on, on Mars. I like to travel around the world and see different things. Went a year later to Sierra Leone. Also. Maybe yeah, Mars is the next step, you know. I've chosen this, this path. My father said, well, I understand it. And my mother said, she was a bit, uh, a bit angry that I sent that email. I think you only live once uh, on this planet. And why not choose for a very uh, life-changing experience? The total cost of, the, of getting the first four people on Mars will be about six billion US dollars. And this is how we will finance it. We will have the world watch how humans fly to Mars, how they land on Mars, how, what life on Mars will be like. We want the world to elect the envoys of mankind to the next planet. The final vote will be uh, given to the audience. Six billion dollars is a lot of money. But imagine what will happen when humans land on Mars. Everybody will be glued to their TV screens or to their tablet screens and we'll watch it happen. When Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon, everybody watched. And imagine doing the same in this media era where everybody has a screen in their, in their pocket. And I think that reality TV from Mars will be completely different than reality TV from Earth because reality TV from Mars is inherently interesting. Uh, telling this, this story, this, the biggest adventure of mankind to, uh, uh, to the world, that will be our way of financing it. For me, it would really change the world. To imagine that we are sitting here and at the same time there's people on Mars, that's really something that would, would mean a step in the evolution of our species. That's one small step for man. The US landing people on the moon gave that sense of achieving a common goal together. If you can put humans on Mars, it will give everyone in the world the feeling that you can do anything. That's maybe the most valuable thing that this uh, that the mission to Mars will bring to the world. Mm.